Hello YouTube. It's a quick video just to talk about the HyperX Cloud 2's uh, USB sound card over here, my hand. Quick, quick question: Does it work with the PS4 via USB? Answer is yes. It works. Uh, it enhances the sound. It's a better sound quality. Um, it's not top notch, of course. It's a micro USB sound card, but it works. Works just fine. Uh, you can connect it via USB, and some of the people are saying that uh, 7.1 doesn't work on the PS4. Read it all over some blogs and Tech Talk and some YouTube channels. Uh, before I bought these, I checked all the reviews. Um, they're awesome, by the way. You can buy them for, I don't know, less than 100 bucks. Uh, in euros, it's... I, just bought them by 80 euros more or less it was a big deal and like I said they said it doesn't work on the PS4 via the USB as you can see it's fully connected and once you press the 7.1 usually it doesn't work as you can see lights up it works you can you can't tell the difference here uh, on the video. I'm sorry for that, uh, but it ju this is just a quick video to let you know that it's working. You can tell the difference once you have the headset on. Uh, it's it really makes a difference. Trust me, it's really loud, um, especially on Battlefield. It's really really nice. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go to the menu here. There we go. To definitions and if you go to devices audio devices you will see that the headsets are recognized by the PS4 as headset with microphone USB HyperX 7.1 audio and this is it hope you guys enjoy the video this is just a quick answer for those who are wondering if should buy or not these headsets for the PS4 they work just fine oh just uh, just one one thing if you want the 7.1 to work uh, you need you need to connect um, you need to connect it via USB no problem about that but once you start your console you need to turn on the 7.1 right away otherwise it won't work if you connect it later on as you can see it's fully working okay just gonna show you here just gonna turn off the PS4 turning off and it will go out Slowly, there we go. It went out. Gonna remove the USB card, and I'm gonna connect the PS4 again. Just wait a little bit. But yeah, you should definitely buy this, uh, these headphones or this headset, wherever you like to call it. Um, these are great value for the price, great build quality. Uh, I guess they will last for years. Uh, extremely, extremely comfortable. Trust me, they are extremely comfortable. And the earpads are really great, really great. So let's start the PS4 again. And I'm going to... Connect the headset again. There we go. HyperX logo. There we go. Recognize as a headset over there. And HyperX logo, it's turned on red. As I said, once you press 7.1 like that, it won't work. As you can see, it's not working. Okay. What you need to do to get to 7.1, just need to. Turn off the PS4. 
okay you don't need to do that every time you don't need to restart your console just be advised that if you have your headsets connected via USB to the PS4 leave it that way once you start your console just press the 7.1 and it will start right away I'm gonna start the PS4 there we go once it lights up the HyperX logo you can press the 7.1 there we go and now still starting maybe on the boot logo on the screen where it says PS you can press the 7.1 and it will remain connected as you can see just gonna enter there we go headset over there and as you can see the difference fully working okay hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to like and have a nice year thank you